So far on this channel, we have created web accessible HTML elements using HTML5 semantics, ARIA attributes, and JavaScript. And now it's high time that we run JAWS, a screen reader, to test how these elements behave and discover if they are really accessible to the non sighted users. This should help you understand what the non sighted users hear when interacting with your web application. And yes, before we do that, I have linked all the videos on the web accessibility in the description below. So please check out those as well. Hi, I'm Skill Singh and on this channel, I help you build web accessible applications, cover data science concepts and share awesome UI and ADA tips. We will be using JAWS version 2019 and you can get a free version from their website. Free version works only for 40 minutes and then it requires a system restart. I will share the link in the description below. For today's video, we will cover the basic HTML form elements such as navbars, text boxes, drop downs and so on. One important thing, I will be using keyboard keys only while interacting with the HTML elements, which a regular non sighted user does. Now let's get started. My jaw is running, which is 2019 version. And then I have opened a DQ that you can refer to when you're working or when you're developing an application, right? So it has listed down all the hotkeys that are commonly used by the non sighted users. And on our right side, we I have a very basic application which has certain controls that a regular data entry form does. So let's listen what JAWS reads out or announces when the page is first loaded. Now let me refresh my browser. Page has four regions, one heading and two links. Heading level one JAWS demo ABC University navigation region about menu sub menu collapsed menu admissions. So if you, if you hear that, JAWS is actually reading out the page title, which is this one, Skills Sing JAWS in Action, followed by how many headers, how many regions, and how many links are present on this page. And by default, JAWS is in a all or read all mode. So if I refresh this page again, you will listen that it starts reading the entire content. And to stop it, we have to press control key. Now let's have a listen again. I'll refresh this page. Skill sync colon jaws in action. Page has four regions, one heading and two links. Heading level one jaws demo ABC university navigation region about menu sub menu collapse about. See, it was reading the entire page and then I pressed the control key to stop it. Okay, next. Let's press H to go to the first header element. Wrapping to top. JAWS demo heading level one. See, it reads out JAWS demo heading level one. Since we only have one header on this page, it reads out wrapping to top, which is an indication to the end user that, the, that it has reached the end point of that particular region or the header that we just next. Let's press R, which is a shortcut key or a keyboard key to go to the regions. Let me press R once. ABC University Navigation Region. So it reads out the menu bar section, which is one of the regions, which is a nav bar, which is one of the regions on our page. Let me press R again. Main region. Now my focus has moved to the main region, which starts from this name section. We have one more region, which is this footer section. Let me press R again. At copyrights 2021. Content information. Now let me press R one more time. Wrapping to top. Heading level one JAWS demo. Banner. So it signifies that it has reached the last element. And then that is why it's reading wrapping to top. Next, let's click on Q which will take the focus on the main region. Main region. So it announces that now the user focus, the virtual focus 
is actually on the main region. Next, we can start using tab main keys. Region. Now, if you note, first name. we pressed Q and that's why it's taking us directly to the text box which is within the main region and it bypasses this section as well which is a menu section but let's start with the menu, menu sections see how menu interacts when jaws is running so i am pressing tab key leaving menus let me press shift tab to go back to the about you and let's listen what it reads out menu abc university menu about one of three to move through items press up or down arrow so couple of things it actually reads out what this menu section is all about so it reads abc university menu then the value of that menu item which is about then it reads out the count like one of three or two of three and then it gives some instructions that you can use up or down arrow keys to navigate among the different options now let's press enter key to open this option enter accessibility overview one of two so it's reading one of two which is giving a good indication that where the current virtual focus is on now let's press up or down arrow keys to check if we are able to navigate through the options or not jaws hotkeys two of two see it's reading jaws hotkeys two of two now let's press accessibility up arrow overview. keys jaws hotkeys accessibility i'm going to press escape key One to go two. to the main menu option escape about one of three i'm going to press the right arrow key admissions and two then i'm going to press down arrow key to open up the sub menu apply one of four now there are few more hotkeys that we can use in case the list is too long first one is to press end key on your keyboard it should take the user to the last option and jaws should read the content accordingly let's have a listen and visit four of four the other key that we can use is to go to the top of the list and for that we have to press home key so let me go ahead and press home home apply one of four similarly now when i press escape, escape. Key, it should close this up menu option and when i'm using the right arrow key academics three of three it should take me to the academics menu and then jaw should read the count as well like three of three similarly if Colleges i press down schools. arrow key it will open up my sub options or menu options and then read the content accordingly text box which is within the main section so i'm gonna press q to go to the main section first and then i'm gonna press the tab key and let's listen what it reads leaving menus main region please enter your first name it is a required field edit type in text so if you have observed closely it reads out that it's leaving out of the current region moving to a new region and then reads out the label which is linked to this text box and i have given an area label which says please enter your name which is a required field so if you see we have a little star here uh, which indicates it's a required field and once it is done jaws also indicates to the end user that this is an input field where they can enter the text let's have a listen again at what it does read menu leaving menus main region please enter your first name it is a required field edit type in text so it says type in text which is giving a good indication to a non-sighted user that they can type their name here so let's add S our name L i'll say S skills S S sing and then when i press tab key it should take me to the next element on this form date of birth format must be mm slash dd slash yyy edit type in text now you might have observed i just have dob on the ui but it reads date of birth and that's because i'm using aria label and aria described by for this text box 
okay level 10. so this is my label i'm having aria label which says date of birth format must be and then i'm using so if i go back to this text box i have used an attribute saying aria labeled by where i have given the ids of two different elements the label itself and then the helper span which is having the actual format this is how we used aria labeled by and aria label in our html's main region next let's main go region. ahead and tab from the date of birth field to the next field in our application so upload picture link it goes to the upload picture link since this link is actually staying on the same page it's not having any alternate text to it so it simply reads upload picture followed by a link so let's have a listen birth. again upload picture link so it says upload picture link and links should always be accessible by pressing the enter key pressing space bar yes. weak key will not work and in common scenarios it scrolls the browser in case you have a longer page okay now let's go to this link which actually takes users to the external page and we have to make it ada compliant or web accessible by using one visual indicator which is this icon and then using an alternate key so let me Your quickly go to order. that please link Your and then let's listen told. what it reads please read the terms and conditions opens in a new window link so if you see we are appending a text or a line which says open in a new window and then it, at the end it says link now let's get back to our text box Day Upload let's go to the link. upload picture and then we'll follow on it or we can go to the next element which is which are the radio buttons now i'm gonna press tab to reach to that radio button select your sex colon mail radio button not checked one of two so it reads out the select your sex which is the linked label then it reads out the actual value of that radio button which is mail and then it announces whether it's selected or not selected and if we have to move to the next option we can have we have two options we can either do we can either press key shortcut key a it should take to the next radio button female radio button not checked two of two so it says female radio button not checked which is its current state and then how many elements are there like two of two or one of two now normally we select a radio button by pressing the space bar key space female radio button checked two of two you yeah. selected colon female okay so we selected female and then i have a small functionality which reads out that what was the selection made in case we want to add this as an alert or give this as a notification we'll be covering notification in more details in our next video next we can go on to the drop down now my select focus is on the drop down oh, hold on let's go back to our radio button let's listen what it reads out when my focus goes to the drop down select an option button menu so it says select an option now when i press space, space. bar key select your country colon extended select list box not selected usa one of four to so, move to an item press the arrow keys it's reading the label link to that drop down then it reads whether it's extended or not whether it's in the open state or not then it reads out the first option which not is usa India. because that's not the default USA. selection that we made now let's navigate through this list by using up or down arrow keys and see what it reads not selected india Two it says four. not selected india and then its current position in the list so let's listen for the next option not selected canada three of four now we if we have to make a selection we can press space, space. bar key so it's making the selection not selected australia now let's four see four. what it reads for the selected options canada three of four so for the selected options it's not reading not selected but it's having selected three or uh, only reading out the option the other hotkeys that we can use is to press end key to go to the last 
L item within the list. And not selected Australia. Similarly, or, or, we can use home key to go to the first option. Home. Not selected USA. One of four. And to close this list, we can use escape, escape. key. Ver escape. USA button menu. And once it closes, it reads out the option that we last selected. Okay. Now let's move on to the next element, which are the checkboxes. And let's have a listen what it reads when focus moves there. Your fave subject colon. Physics checkbox not checked. To check, press space bar. So it's reading the label, which is linked to the checkboxes. And then its current position within the list. To make a selection, you have to press space bar space. key. Checked. Then it reads out the current state, which is checked. And then you can use your tabs. Mathematics checkbox not checked. To check, press space bar. To navigate through the other checkboxes on this page. Next, we have buttons. Literature checkbox so let's not checked. Jump on to our to buttons. The first one is a secondary button, which is actually a cancel button in our case. Let's listen what it reads. Please read the terms cancel button. To activate, press space bar. So it's reading cancel button and giving the instructions how we can activate it and that's by using a space bar now let's listen what the save button has save my changes button to activate press space bar so same thing it's reading out the content of the button and then giving the instructions how to activate it all right so we have covered all the basic form elements in this video I trust this video helped you understand how a screen reader actually behaves. Now please help me by clicking on the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep improving web accessibility for your web applications. In our next video, we will cover slightly complex elements such as drag and drop, notifications, area live and so on. Now before we end this video, please comment yes or no if this video has helped you or not. See you in the next video. Till then, keep coding.